Hey guys, it's about beer 30. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Thanks a bunch for stopping by. I do appreciate it. Today's beer comes from Perenni Perennial Artisan Ales. This is their Sump Coffee Stout. This is uh, an 11 and a half percenter and it says it's Best Buy 727 of 21. So I don't know what kind of shelf life they're giving it uh, or because it doesn't have a canned on date. Uh, Imperial Stout with coffee. Uh, from what I'm saying, Beer Advocate has it listed as a ten and a half, and it's an eleven and a half. The 2021 is so, uh, and Untapped has a 2021 listed. The the uh, 2020 was ten and a half, and the 2021 is eleven and a half. No IBUs are listed here. It says uh, Imperial Stout with coffee. This year, the coffee was grown in the Monte Alban region of Oaxaca, Mexico. I probably butchered that up and roasted in St. Louis by Sump Coffee. The base style is smooth and chocolatey, complemented by notes of pecan, toffee, pear, and vanilla. I don't know how you could get pear out of a imperial stout or, or uh, uh, a dark beer. I, I don't understand that, but maybe we will. Uh, pear and, and vanilla, sweet and bitter, are balanced against each other, swirling around the full-bodied stout base to create a powerfully rich, yet amazingly crisp, drinking experience and the pictures here it looks pretty dark in the glass so uh, uh, I seen it on the shelf and it had the the old skull on it uh, I'm a big fan I see something with the skull on it and it did have a date on it, it was even though it's a Best Buy not a canned on date a uh, big 16 ounce can plain Jane silver can with a stick on wrap around the label like I said no IBUs 11 and a half percent and it wants to have it by July and yeah, we're just into April so I think we're good it is pitch black coming out of the can guys it's like like motor oil not to be doesn't seem to be too awfully carbonated which pretty regular for at 11 and a half percenter I'm thinking that will really increase the head factor and it did wow dark khaki colored head almost two fingers finger and half three quarters good looking beer pitch black guys I'm giving absolutely no light to it that is a good looking stout to the nose we go oh yeah coffee on the nose big time rich roasted malt caramel toffee black molasses Smells awesome. Smells absolutely awesome. I'm not getting any alcohol on the nose. Wow. Smells good. Let's dive in. Cheers. That is a very, very tasty coffee stout. Wow. Big coffee notes. That is, that is most excellent. I haven't had a tin beer in a while. This may get there. That is delicious. Alcohol is well hidden for 11.5%. Doesn't seem boozy to me at all. Wow. That's delicious. Wow. That is very, very nice. That is very nice. All right, guys, let's do the little swirly swirl. Get the back end pour in there. It's almost like a dessert. I am getting a little bit of chocolatey notes. 
the coffee's big time, big time coffee. All right, I like the, the label on this. I mean, the skull got got a glass of beer in his hand, got the hood on. Very very nice artwork on that label. Very nice. Very tasty beer too. Well, it's right out of the fridge. We're definitely going to test for warm up. May have to hit that stogie out on the deck, and uh, we'll be right back in a little bit. Hi right, guys, I'm back. Been sitting on it for quite a while. Definitely up to room temperature now. Very tasty beer, guys. I mean, a very very well made beer. I'm getting the coffee. I'm getting chocolate, uh, coffee, caramel, black molasses. Alcohol is super well hidden for an 11 and a half percenter. Very, very well made beer. Uh, probably one of the better beers I've had recently. So, very, very tasty. This would definitely be something that I would pick up again. Maybe even pick up more than one. Uh, 11 and a half percent. Only down part about buying more than one if you want to sell this, the coffee's going to fade over time. That's the only drawback to that. So, uh, it still may be there. A lot of the coffee beers, the coffee hangs on quite a bit. Some don't. Some drop off pretty quick and some don't. Uh, I mean, some the coffee fades after about six months, the coffee disappears. It's not as prominent as it is when it's fresh. This is pretty tasty. Awesome beer. So smooth. For 11.5%, this is an easy drinking beer. Very tasty. I'm probably going to go against the grade a little bit on this one. It's very impressive to me. And if you want a bourbon barrel version, throw your little jigger of bourbon in there. There you go. Final chug. That's absolutely delicious, guys. To me, when I'm looking for a coffee beer, especially in a stout like this, with 11.5% and, and it's that well hidden, it's done very, very well. It's a 10 to me, guys. I'm going to give it a 10. been a while since I gave a beer a 10. This is a 10. I'm going to give it a 10. Over to Beer Advocate. Uh, they have it listed as a ten and a half, so they, they don't differentiate between batches or years or anything like that. And they have it at ninety-eight. Uh, I think it's, I think it's, I think it's a ten. I mean, I, I'm going to give it to ten, especially since it's an eleven and a half, not a ten and a half, and the alcohol is that well hidden. It's super tasty, guys. You need to pick this up if you can get your hands on it. Untapped has it at four point three seven awesome numbers. That's a solid A from them. So I'm giving the benefit of the doubt. It does have a Best Buy date uh, on it, which I'd rather see a vintage. I don't uh, I don't know how many months uh, shelf life they're giving it, but yeah, I'm giving it the benefit of the doubt here. Uh, very tasty to me. So uh, 10 for me. I'm going I'm to give it to 10 because it, it was that impressive to me. Uh, I like the coffee notes that I got from this. I like the chocolatey notes that I got from this. And uh, I like the way as smooth as it drank for 11.5%. So uh, very, very tasty. The 2021 edition of the uh, Sump Coffee Stout from Perennial Artisan Ales. So if you've had that, let me know what you think. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.